juice and fur. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. Vitamin C. Yeah. She can make vitamin C. Hi everyone, welcome uh, to my Latina home. Uh, uh, today, we are redoing one of Gabriel's walls, which I don't even know, I normally do rooms. So you're helping me pick my table, but you're helping me create the main focal point of this entire, I feel like, apartment. Yeah. I so, feel like everything is gonna be here. So when you walk into Gabriel's apartment, it's so nice and pretty, by the way. When you walk inside, we're redoing this entire wall here where Gabriel's really just low. We're gonna be doing this entire section of the wall and we have so many fun ideas. We ordered two huge bookcases. There's gonna be a lot of shelf styling in this video. Gabby also really, really wanted like a Dalmatian printed wall, which I love that idea so much. We looked for wallpaper. So expensive. So expensive. It was literally like $800 for this wall. And we're like, like rent. Yeah, rent. rent basically. And so we were like, let's just DIY our own wallpaper. We ordered a stencil, which I'm going to link below and tell you guys. And we're going to paint it on. So we're going to see how that goes. That's what we are doing today. DIY in the house. DIY in the house. And then we're going to basically be styling the whole wall, making it look so good, adding the dining table, all that fun stuff. Yeah. And just redoing this dining section. So, I mean, without further ado, I love that you're still holding the plant. That's my best friend. Yeah. So I'm currently at Target with Gabriel. Hi everyone. And, uh, hi everyone. And we're trying to get black paint here. Oh, look at this. A little metallic coal. Because <gasps> we're doing the stenciled wall, um, which you guys are probably going to see in a little bit. Um, foam daubers. Like, Target came through with the foam daubers. Yeah. Dobby the house. We didn't know if we wanted like a roller or, or like, like a, a paintbrush or like, or like our hands. But a dauber's good. So basically right now at Target, we're just going to try to get some paint, some daubers, daubers. and some tape and daubers. maybe some shelf decor. So I'll keep you updated. Like I have to have Latina type of decor. I think that would actually be great for the shelf. Like imagine this it like- It has makeup in it. <gasps> oh yeah, and Ooh. but imagine this on a Dalmatian wall. Oh yes. I mean, I don't think you actually need it, but. <laughs> I don't need it, but I want it. Yeah. <laughs> so far so good. We found a couple of like shelf items and um, I thought maybe Gabriel, you would want this, an artichoke for the <gasps> shelf. Oh. Oh, you already have one. <laughs> Going to turn these little like wall decors into shelf decors and just like have them sitting, you know? We successfully got some shelf stuff and our black paint and all of our Dalmatian supplies. Yay. So like I mentioned, we ordered a stencil online and this is from Cutting Edge Stencils. I thought we ordered it on Etsy. Didn't we order this on Etsy? Yeah. Yeah, but um, I'm going to link this one below in case you guys want one um, that's very similar. This is a Dalmatian stencil and it's actually very large. Like this is like a good three feet by like one and a half, two feet, like maybe even two by four. I don't even know. It's really, really large. Lots of Dalmatian spots and we're basically gonna be painting them black on that wall to create our very own accent wall, similar to this one right here. And the nice thing is, is that it actually also comes with an edge piece and like a corner piece so they really thought this out um, and we're going to attempt to or we are going to attempt we are going to be putting this on the wall and making it so accented and fun so i guess we found out that candles change the color of your wall so yeah so <laughs> don't like burn a, a candle don't. next to your white wall yeah the other supplies that we got are just some blue painter's tape, these little foam daubers that I found at Target, and then some of the Magnolia Home chalk style paint in the color blackboard, which is just a dark black, and it's gonna be matte, which is gonna kind of add a fun finish to the Dalmatian wall. Best, it helps me build everything. It helped me build the shelves, which you will see later on. And I wanna say in like a minute and a half of an Emma Chamberlain video. Like I saw oh. a full one, and then a half of one. And they and were I done. An entire shelf. Complete, wow. The, it literally will save your life. I understand that like screwdrivers and like flyhead screwdrivers, Absolutely are they cheaper? Not. Absolutely. Absolutely, but this is so much easier and faster. Yeah, Just me know. so we're gonna be taking off the covers for the little um, light switches and like the plug outlets, so that way when we put our Dalmatian print on, we have a smooth finish, <laughs> it can go underneath as well. Hi everyone. Okay guys, so I loaded this foam roller that we got from the paint store, and apparently you're supposed to kind of like just blot off the excess, like lightly blot it off, like that. And then we're gonna go to the wall. So, here's our stencil. Should I start? Yeah, are why scared? not? Are you scared? Wait. It's not going in there. It's only going in there. I think you need more paint. Do you think? Yeah. Oh wait, no, oh, I like... think you just need to press harder. Oh yeah, definitely just need oh. to press harder. Wow, we 
you're so professional. But see, like, is this too light? No, that looks so good. This looks yeah. so good. Okay, I live. So guys, this is our first little test patch here. It actually looks really great. The only thing I noticed is that the edges did bleed. Like, I don't know if you can see, this is supposed to be a perfectly clean edge. They did bleed a little bit, but it looks totally fine for this pattern because it actually adds to the Dalmatian effect. It actually looks even better than a clean pattern, I think. Do you think it's the paint maybe? I don't know. So good, but we basically have this bottom section here and this whole top section here and this has taken us like two hours Kind of time-consuming but inexpensive so we love that so we're just gonna continue on with creating the Dalmatian print So it is about two weeks later, so kind of a long time away. It's like 18 weeks later, I think. Gabby and I were both pretty busy after we finished the Dalmatian print wall, guys, which by the way, it is completely done. And today we are finishing it, adding the bookcases that we ordered, and then also adding the dining table and all the decor that we've been shopping for. Oh, Gabby's hair is different too. Oh, yeah, I'm a blonde. Oh, yeah, blonde, that really good and fresh. Today we're gonna be finishing the wall space over here and just adding all the decorations and finishing it up and then having the grand reveal for you guys. So I think you're going to really like it and I can't wait to see what it turns out to look like. I think it's gonna look so good once it's all complete. Yeah! This is a bookshelf that we ordered, you guys. It is, where's this from again? Amazon? Amazon. Amazon bookshelf. It looks like this. So nice. And we actually got two of them. The other one's over there. Gabby also ordered this faux plant. And where was this from? This one was from Wayfair. It's so good though. It actually looks like completely real. Like look at all these little details in there. Like, do I look like an island girl? It's like a music video shoot. This what happened when I think about you. I get in my feelings, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. And then this table here too, which this is for, isn't this from Wayfair as well? This is from Wayfair as well. Gabby just needed like a smallish table because the bookshelves are gonna go here, which means that the wall is gonna kind of extend to this area here. So we just he just wanted something here to kind of act as like an island slash dining table, right? Yeah. Which this fit perfectly in the space and it kind of coordinates back to these dark woods. And then the light wood is gonna be on this sort of feature wall area here. And I also never showed you guys the finished wall. This is the finished Dalmatian print wall using that stencil. Looks so good. It took us kind of a while. Honestly, it was like how much, this cost like 40, $50 to do. 10% of the price. And if you like made little errors or anything, it was, yeah, like, look, it just, can. yeah, it just, you kind of adds to the. It adds to the effect. It adds it to the effect of it. it. You yeah. Can't even really tell because there's so many dots everywhere. Yeah, looks so good. Oh, she's working from home to. Oh. My God. So yesterday, Gabby and I and James also went to Home Goods. I'm in Home Goods with Gabby the house and um, James and Eldon myself of course and we're looking for some shelf decor now because we need a little bit of stuff to put on these shelves that are now built in the apartment there's a lot of easter stuff though which we don't need any easter stuff we just need some oh this is like a nice little basket moment we found a couple options james on this camera that's really cool the box I'm, and then a plant i'm a professional this. designer in case you don't know no, you're not. You are. oh this is like a nice little pot and this one too so we ended up grabbing all these very aesthetic options. A tulip for the table. This, look how good this is on this like. It's a brass test tube plant holder. This is how long you have to make me. <gasps> Fill in the blank. We also found this horn, which is definitely broken off of something. So we're hoping that they give it to us or sell it to us. <laughs> so we'll see. And we bought some shelf decor. I think we also got some of this at Target at the beginning of the vlog, but Gabby already had kind of a lot of plants. And then we got this faux plant here, tons of candles because Gabby loves a good candle. Camera box, a terrarium, a clock. Um, What's this called? 
An hourglass? The wall is complete, the shelves are in place, and let's get to styling them, which is one of my favorite parts. I really love styling shelves because you can do so much, and it's kind of like just a fun game that you can go back and forth with and just kind of like step back, take a look, see what looks good, and then kind of replace things. So it's nothing that is too permanent. It's something that you can really change up and add to or take away from to just really, really make your space feel a lot more alive. So something that I like to do when I style shelves is put things in clusters and just kind of offset them. Creating clusters of visual interest, I think, looks a lot better than just having things sporadically placed across the shelves. So I like to put things in clusters, but then I also like to just mix it up per shelf space. So just kind of take a step back every time you add things to the shelf and kind of look and just see what you like about the space. And I just put things in clusters on the left side, on the right side, I like to do groups of um, odd numbers, sometimes even numbers if it is larger items, it looks pretty good. But uh, those are just a couple of tips that I wanted to give you guys when it comes to styling shelves. <laughs> Kim. Hi Kim! Guys, the wall behind me is now complete. Oh look, there's Gabby right over there. It was such a fun project to work on and I really love the outcome of the Dalmatian wall. It was actually a lot easier than I anticipated. Super affordable and I'm gonna make sure to link those stencils below and like the products that we use for that along with any of the um, decorations or bookcases or whatever it might be at the table in the description box below as well in case you guys are curious to purchase any of those items. But it's time to show you so let's just go into the montage. 